Hey guys, we are on the path to see the Alexandra Bridge just outside of Hope, BC. It's a historical bridge that dates back, I believe, all the way to the Gold Rush era. So we're gonna go check that out. Come along with us. The park is just up Highway 1 from Hope on the west side of the highway, so you will have to turn left if you're heading up the valley. But otherwise, make sure you're watching on Google. It goes by pretty quick. There's a small parking lot. There are picnic tables for you to stop and have lunch. There are some restrooms. And of course, the path to the bridge, which we're on right now, and we're gonna check out. There's a road here, and I don't know, like, left and right. My bet would be down. Bridges cross water, and water is down. Pretty good logic. Mel is absolutely terrified of walking on open grates, and I didn't say anything. She just started walking across and walked across the entire bridge, which is a huge open grate, and then got to the other side and said, oh my God, I just walked over a huge open grate. And now I have to get back. All so right. if you have that fear, this might not be the activity for you, unless you're trying to conquer some fears. All right, if you're coming to the Alexander Bridge, I need to make note of footwear. So definitely do not wear high heels. And if you're bringing your pets, you might not want to actually. We just passed a couple with this beautiful bull terrier who had to be carried across the bridge because his feet kept falling, kind of sinking through the holes in the grate. If you walk to the far side of the Alexandra Bridge, you actually have a really nice view of the Highway 1 bridge just behind me. We're on the path on the other side of the bridge now and we're gonna try and get a picture of the bridge from the side if we can. So if you follow the path to the right, you'll go up a hill and end up at some train tracks. I think we're gonna maybe go the other way to see if we can get a better view of the bridge. Look, it's, it's Mel the Millennial on her phone walking through the park. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She is looking up some historical facts to tell you all about the park. The original bridge was constructed and in use between 1868 and 1894, at which point it was essentially washed out from some major flooding in the river. It looks like there's a spot where you can go down to the water. It's a bit washed out, but uh, we're gonna see what we can do. This isn't, this isn't really great for sandals, but... Back, uh... to my, back to my whole comments about footwear. All right, we've made it, almost. We're down beside the river now and we've got really nice views of both the Alexander Bridge and the Highway 1 Bridge. The second bridge, which is the one you see behind me, wasn't constructed until 1926, after World War I and the dawn of the automobile era. It was uh, in use until 1964, at which point Highway 1, which was constructed to come through here, essentially just put it out of use. And then Highway 1 Bridge is actually now the new Alexander Bridge. It is about one mile downstream from the old Alexander Bridge and is, well, much taller than this one. I've come out to another little spot kind of almost under the bridge. Got some really nice views down here too of the old bridge right up behind me and then the new bridge kind of off that way. And look at how fast that water is just rushing by. That's just an immense amount of power. You can see there's like a little whirlpool right there from all the currents. Here's a quick tip for the park. If you're coming back up the road, there is actually no sign to tell you to go back up the path that you came down. And you may actually continue along the road the whole way, which is, a, which is the wrong way. So be sure to watch for the path that you came down on. Yeah, it's a, it gets a little bit, because there's multiple paths in and out. We're going this way, we can see our truck, so we're just gonna go straight for it. We don't recommend taking the little path right behind the sign like we did to go back up. But we made it back up. Here's a handy little tip. If you don't want to get boxed in in a parking lot, use a little traffic cone. Make sure you have enough space to get out. Thanks for joining us as we discovered the Alexander Bridge. 
Yes, and if you found this video useful, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get more videos just like this one. Thank you very much. And in the meantime, keep, keep on, on living, living the, the life you've, you've imagined. imagined. Hey guys, today we are checking out the Igal and it's a historical uh, landmark. And it's supposed to be a pretty historical a uh, very interesting thing to see. So, <laughs> of the bridge that goes over Highway 1. You mean the bridge that is Highway 1 that goes over the river? <laughs> I'll start that again. So if you follow the track, so if you follow the, the please be sure to give us a like and a subscribe and a to, to. And that's it. It's a, uh, 